Rhode Island's unexpectedly high census count in 2020 may not have been accurate. Yeah, a study just released today suggests the state overcounted residents by more than 5%. It's that high population count that allowed Rhode Island to avoid losing one of its two U.S. House seats. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to a good government group today who says these results are not surprising. Well, Mike and Brian, Rhode Island was among eight states that the Census Bureau believes were overcounted in 2020. Roughly 55,000 extra people were counted here in the Ocean State. Despite this error, Rhode Island will not lose its second seat in the U.S. House. This error explains why it was such a surprise to political observers when Rhode Island kept its two congressional seats following the 2020 census. That's according to John Marion of good government group Common Cause Rhode Island. We're just sort of the, the lucky uh, state because of statistical error. Marion says errors during the census aren't uncommon, but believes the COVID-19 pandemic likely contributed to such a high overcount. The main cause, Marion says, was people were likely counted more than once. Census count began in mid-March of 2020 at literally the same week the lockdown began, and so lots of people were moving. A post-census survey by federal officials found Rhode Island was overcounted by 5%, roughly 55,000 people, ranking third after Hawaii and Delaware. The state was able to save its second congressional seat by approximately 19,000 people. Marion says despite these findings, it will not change the number of congressional House seats Rhode Island has because of a 1999 Supreme Court ruling. The pandemic had never happened. In all likelihood, we would have lost our additional congressional seat. But this does signal problems when the next census is in 2030, when Rhode Island could likely lose its second seat because the population isn't growing as rapidly as originally thought. Now, one of Rhode Island's Republican National Committee members, Steve Frias, called the overcount on Twitter terrible, saying this sort of news causes people to be more skeptical of eliminating mail balloting safeguards and to support voter ID. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.